All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to They Are Billions, or welcome to it if you've never joined me for this before. So, let's check this out. Campaign mode, yep, there it is. Okay, what is our alias? Bucket. I am Bucket. Why am I Bucket? I have no idea. But yeah, so they added a campaign mode. I don't really know how it's gonna go. I heard it's a bit rough. Quintus Crane, your leader, your savior. I founded the new empire and the city that now shelters you. And now, the time has come to no longer live hidden like rats behind the walls of the great crater. It's time to face our monsters. Time to go out into the world and reconquer it. For the glory of humankind! For the glory of the new empire! So you want to be the new general to lead the reconquering campaign. <laughs> well, I warn you, my young general, your mission won't be an easy one. How many attempts have there been so far? Ten? Twelve? All your predecessors are dead or have gone mad. Do you really think you can do better than them? Hmm. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Listen carefully. Our goal is to build new colonies in strategic locations to expand the empire beyond the great crater. I also want you to explore the ancient human strongholds and retrieve any technology from before the pandemic. We will use that to build more powerful colonies. You may also find swarms blocking your way. Destroy them with the might of the Empire's army. But be warned, failure is not an option. Succeed in your mission or never return. All right. So, here of your campaign will be the main unit in the tactical missions of exploration of the ancient uh, strengths of humans. Exploration of the ancient strengths of humans. Once chosen, you'll not be able to change. So you can be Kalos or Calliope. Slow shooter, kill several enemies with one bullet. Let's see. So, attack range is short. Her shooting speed makes her enemies often die wondering what the... I mean, honestly... I like the idea of Callias. So we're gonna go Callias. Big Boom. I like Big Boom. Also, short range scares me in these games. So the map of missions shows you a global version of the state of the campaign. From here, you can plan your next moves to advance the campaign. Uh, select an available mission, move the map, zoom in or out. All times you'll have several missions to choose from. In each mission, your level of difficulty from 1 to 5 is indicated along your objectives. Okay, can I change, like, the overall... Ah! Bucket. Difficulty 50%. Start a new mission, you'll play with this level of difficulty. Percentage of the factor of victory points you'll achieve. So I can change the difficulty. I'm assuming victory points is just, uh, my score at the end of a campaign. I hope so, because I s I'm not very good at this game. Honestly, do we want to just turn it on, um... Let's try accessible for now, and we'll see how it goes. I usually would play on pretty low difficulties, because I'm not good at this game. 
And it's also very mercilessly difficult. Wait, what? Once you start... You have to start over to change. Well, we're throwing it on easy. Okay, destroy all the infected. Co colony population 300, resist all swarms of infected. 36 days to do so, command center cannot be destroyed. Okay, well, we're just going to uh, stomp because I suck at this game and would routinely get my face handed to me at the lowest possible difficulty. And that doesn't sound fun for me. I wonder if they added anything new. Okay, move, hold, chase, patrol. Colonists, to build a successful colony, blah, 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 tutorial. Colonists will arrive in the train that passes through the colony daily. Okay. Okay, on the, on the ground you'll find mineral mines. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe I should probably have had them not chase. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we want to build at least some houses. Let that go for a little while. I'm just going to let them burn through. Okay, research is an earned thing. If you have researched it, you can't research it on a mission. So, there's a means of unlocking things permanently, so I just start with it. Okay, colonists as well as soldiers need food. To get food, build fishermen, hunter cottages. Okay, yeah, we know we know about all of this. Okay. So I can get some walls. Can't get one of those. So we need a hunter cottage. Let's see, do we not have... Okay, so we just need gold. Well, first and foremost, we should probably grab these little gift bags. See anything else here? This might actually be a pretty quick mission if I if I just like go out of my way to hunt everything down. Let's see if I do chase. There we go. I'm not seeing any Zambos relatively close. Uh it's a good sign. Must be placed next to a forest. Why not over here? Oh, right. Don't have any energy. That's what's going on. Okay, hold up. Do we not have any more Zambos, or Zambos out here? No, of course we do. Now, the problem is, because of this train, it's actually going to make it really difficult to wall anything off. The train has arrived at the station. Attention. Building completed. I don't know if that's going to work out in my favor. It, it'll it probably be fine. Uh, let's see. Our forces are in danger. We get hit now. Okay, military defense. Our soldiers are in trouble. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. I did lose one. There's reasons why I'm not good at this game. I'm not a very atten attentive player. Oh, this game does have an active pause. Well, that actually makes my life a lot easier. Because in that case, uh, if I can just, right, I can pause. 
Can you tell it's been a couple months since I last played this? Okay, mission window. Only population is nowhere close to 300. I gotta scale that up. Uh, let's see, what else do we do? Well, we might as well get a couple more tents here. Any more? Can't do that. Building? Okay. Well, we might as well do Hunter Cottages where we can. We have access to this now. Okay. And then the very odd Fisherman Cottage. Looks a free area to build. No. Okay, let's undo these buildings. The fisherman cottages are a little bit more important. Must be placed next to a water source. It's because of that stupid rock, isn't it? Okay. Attention. Building completed. If we can finish this section off, that'll make my life easier. Wish I hadn't lost that one person. I should have paid way more attention when uh when I had the chance, but too late. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I can get another fisherman hut there. I'm just going to plonk those two down. And then one sawmill. Might be able to get more out there, but this should be okay. And then lastly, might as well get a bit more power. I wonder how... Oh, yep, we know about that. I wonder how hand-designed these maps are. I'm assuming they're all completely... Well, maybe not, actually. If anybody else has played the campaign mode for this... uh. That actually would be kind of interesting to note. Because, yeah, I'd actually love to know if, uh... Let's see, that should work. I'd love to know if these are hand-designed maps or actually pr totally procedurally generated. Okay, all of these are runners. As opposed to the slow, scary variety. Or slow, not so scary variety. Lead them away from my buildings. It doesn't look like any of them are particularly aggressive here either. Which is probably for the best. Okay, this gives me some room to breathe. Right. But we might as well, like, kind of clear this area out. Okay, what else can I do? So can't do that. We need stone. Oh, okay, we do actually have a, uh... We do actually have a stone mine out here. Looks like this area has, like, a boatload of wooden walls. Or not wooden walls, but, like, just forests and nothing else out this way. So that's actually... This whole area is super safe. I'll double-check this, but as long as I leave my archers right there, we should actually be totally dispensable. Attention. Building completed. Yep. Alright, just gonna toss them there. Okay, build, energy. Okay, so in that case, we should go absolutely bananas for sawmills. Because there's no reason why not to. They are expensive. Ow. On the plus side, I can actually fit quite a lot of people. Well, I am poor. 
Ah, I'm out of power. And I'm out of everything and anything. Well, building completed. I'm hoping the tech tree for this is actually pretty uh train will kill zombies not friendly units. Oh, okay. I was I was actively avoiding the uh the train tracks for that reason sort of. Okay, so that's not nearly as defensible as I would have liked it to be. Attention. Question, can I build a gate across it? The answer is not yet. I am too poor. Wait, what? Okay, now I can make them. We might as well just end up loading up on tons of people. This would be a nice place to live if it weren't for all the zombies. Yeah, right on a big river. Nice train side uh, living arrangements. Okay, can I build a gate across? I can. How do I rotate things? Tab. There we go. It even tells you. Okay, so that gives us an, an ounce of safety. And that means I can spread my wings and build a shit ton of tents. Welcome to Slumsville, everyone! Population you and a bunch of zombies. Good luck on the zombies bid. I'm working on it. Okay, so we need some more food. We need a lot more of everything. Attention. Building completed. Food, gold, Attention. Building completed. morale, sadness. I mean, no, we got we got ample amounts of sadness. Hopefully we'll be able to get a tower up at some point. I don't think I can make any. Yeah, we need... Oh, right. I need a stone camp. Uh, let's hold off a bit on exorbitant, wasteful spending. Because we need some stone. And remind me, I don't think you actually run out of resources in this game. You just You just keep grabbing them. Is the train also in survival mode? I don't think so, no. Let's see. Plonk those down. I mean, we can more or less just end up with like an insane amount of hunter cottages here. Can I get another one of these out here? Attention. Kind of. But I'm not really convinced it's worth it. I'll just keep expanding expanding in that direction for a little while longer. Hunter cottages. Okay. And we can make a smidge from this. Well, you know what? Smidge is still tasty eats. And let's see. I'm gonna plonk this. I will have maximum power coverage for no other reason than I can. Okay. Still running low on the gold side of things. What else can I make? It looks like I'm actually super limited on this one. So my main and best goal probably is to just keep going nuts with, uh... Keep going nuts with tents. 
I almost kind of wish this was more of like a... What game would it be? Like Total War Warhammer or something like that where I only had one base, but I kept improving it and remaking it and whatever. And the campaign mode all took place over the course of like... Let's see. Over the course of, like, not multiple in-game days or anything like that. Okay, army and units. Yep. There's a lot of these guys just kind of sneaking around out here. Let's see, do we have more coming this way? No, it seems like the train is probably keeping much of that area pretty safe. Okay, how are we doing on this? So we just need energy. Let us fix. And we're out of gold. Damn, we are poor. Is a problem. There's a city building zombie game called Rebuild that's really good. Yeah, Stronghold might work. But I've I've never heard of rebuild. Take a look at it, seeing as we're just kind of killing time for a bit. Rebuild three gangs of dead deadsville. Okay, I, huh. It looks kind of right. It looks a lot more management e than I think I'm interested in. Maybe I don't know. It looks like it'd be fun. I'm just not sure if it'd be super watchable from like a YouTube perspective. That's my, uh, that's one of my perpetual problems when it comes to interesting games is like, would this actually work for like my job? I mean, case in point, uh, I've been playing Tales of Magi All. It's a neat game. I really enjoy it, but like, Boy, it is not a looker. Attention. Building completed. Okay, so I have to have up to 300 people. Oh god, so all of these just more or less have to be tents. Yeah, really truly, welcome to Slumsville. I don't have a choice on this one. But yeah, I don't know. I I very specifically was really excited for Fortnite when it first was announced. Because Fortnite seemed like you'd have a base and at, at every night you would get attacked by, uh, you know, groups of, uh, groups of zombies and you have to, like, defend it with your friends and blah, blah, blah. Not the case. And I'm I'm still a little bit peeved about it because it it could have been such a cool concept. Instead, it ended up being arguably the most popular uh, battle royale game in the world, which like I don't necessarily begrudge. Because, like, good on them for making that work. Because originally, Fortnite was super disappointing. Let's see. Attention. Building completed. Can I get more of these? Yeah. Oh, we can get a buttload of food. Uh, let's see. We could also get some more sawmills, but we're we're loaded on that. Here's the other thing I I forget sometimes is that. Hunter's cottages can straight up be plunked down in the middle of nowhere. Like, just in fields and stuff. Attention. Building completed. 
for just like extra food. I always thought they had to be like near near uh food or farm uh or like woods, but no, I was quite I am quite consistently wrong. They just provide significantly less food. Because buildings. Okay. Well, this is a sizable enough army, at least for the time being. Unless we start running into cer uh, until we start running into specials. I'm just gonna keep banging those out. I guess what I could do. Whoops. Where are you guys going? There's got to be more up here. Sometimes I question the logic of chase mode. Okay, can I can I go into key bindings controls? Okay, repair all is X. What is? Category bonus, command attack. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Because, yeah, I need my attack move. Target highest level? Nah. Yeah, if we can clear this out, that'd be nice. I'm not entirely sure. I, it's a little weird that there's no tech tree. I would have figured I would have been able to do some research or, or something. But I guess it almost makes sense to have it be like a an out of... game progression system. Oh my god, we still need more tents. Welcome to Slumsville. Oh boy. If a zombie gets in here, everyone is dead. Well, hopefully that'll be enough. We should probably get a couple of mills up in here, though. Finding the space for all of that is honestly not actually nearly as bad. And looks like I'm out of gold. Okay, you. What do we have on this side? Massive amounts of arrows. When you're on the mission map, there will be research. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm mostly just saying it's it's weird to not have it. Like, I don't know. I guess I always have this problem with uh, RTSs that you're always like... Um... Oh, what? Where'd y'all come from? They are attacking the colony defenses. Uh oh. That's a bit of a weakness in the walls. I figured that would be more defensible, not less. I guess I was incorrect. Let's just get another one of those for the sake of redundancy. Okay, let's cle keep clearing the map out. So it said something about 36 days. I'm assuming we just have to clear the entire map of resident, resident dead. Now, the one question I have with this game is that supposedly this is like 13 years later and these, these zombies are all still just here? I, 
I guess I've always had problems with this as a, uh... As, like, a conceptual thing for zombie games. Like, you really think they'd start rotting and, like, completely go away at some point. And, like, just crumbling to dust due to lack of sustenance. And I realize, like, the undead are kind of, like, semi-supernatural because they kind of have to be just because of what they are. Okay. There we go. Like, I don't know. I I was kind of really hoping that would be the uh, the end game for The Walking Dead. That they just, like, survive the the undead and each other long enough to, uh, to finally, like, start rebuilding society on the other side of it. And it didn't really ever pan out that way. But then again, like, Walking Dead is absolutely one of those things that you have to, like, keep oh, jumping the shark with. Because otherwise, like... Your cash cow stops printing money for you. All rangers for some ungodly reason. Our soldiers are in trouble. Let's see. But like, I don't know. I guess I always got really excited in any of the Walking Dead shows or like, uh... And I know they did this on purpose specifically, but I always got really excited. You know, they find some new place to, like, hole up for a while. And it's like, maybe this is... This will be our new home. And then, like, within a season, it was on fire. And it was always just a little bit disappointing for me. Because it's just like... Yeah, the mechanisms of rebuilding and starting over is hands down your favorite aspect of World War Z. Yeah, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Like, on one hand, the Brad Pitt movie was actually kind of fun popcorn flick. But it really could have actually delved into that and been really cool. Same thing with the video game. Like, at the same time, the video game was really freaking fun because they took the whole, like, sea of zombies thing and turned it into, like, an amazing situation. Okay. So what have I not done? Resist, resist all swarms of an infected. Oh. So now we just sit here for a while? Well. You know when you know what you do when you don't have anything else to do? You get stupid. What else am I supposed to do in this situation? Not build giant tent monstrosities? Eyes. Oh, we're out of resources. I'm out of food. Ah, shoot. Well, actually... Let's see. My walls. Leave me alone. I guess we should probably double layer these balls. Gonna plonk him there. We're just going to build a giant annex base for no goddamn reason out here. Just to support my growing, ex exceedingly useless tent city that doesn't need to exist.
just because I can. Attention. Building completed. Let's see. Might as well just plonk that there. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Another Tesla Building tower out there. See, do I have defense towers available yet? Nope. Attention. Building I am pretty limited in what I can do and where I can build. Oh, cool. Attention. Build another one of those there. I'm not actually sure if I can do anything with it. I might be able to wrap around on this side, too. Let's see. Wonder when Terraria, the next Terraria update comes out, are you going to play it with friends or solo? Uh, it entirely depends. Building completed. On whether or not I actually have uh, friends to play it with or not. Am I out? I am out of wood. The irony. Wait, no, no. No, I'm not out of wood. So yeah, if I have a group of friends that said like, "Hey, yeah, let's do uh, let's do the new Terraria update," I'd be like, "Sure." And if I don't, then that's fine. Attention, building completed. Let's see. Welcome to Fort Excessive. Population this, because what else am I going to do with myself? Attention. Building completed. Okay, right. We're going to... Nope, I'm still low on wood. Honestly, I feel like for some of these missions, once you've completed all the other objectives, you can kind of start doing some more stuff. Or, like, speed it up. Because, yeah, I can't do biscuits right now. And I'm supposed to resist whatever amount of... Undead hordes roll through. Which means I'm just going to build all the way out here for no good reason. So we can make some more of these. Uh, let's see, how many workers? Oh god, yeah, we have so many workers. I don't even know what to do with them all. Okay. Well, back to building Fort, Exce Fort Excessive, because I have nothing better to do with myself. Can I get that there? The answer is no. You know what I can do? I can rotate this. And build more. Welcome to Fort Excessive. You will not get through. Nothing will get through. Them's the rules. That's it. Well, now we wait. So here's the question. How do we get through this faster? The answer is simple. There are billions. Now, here's the question in campaign mode. Can I save? No. Okay, so we're now on times five mode. It doesn't look like I can build any more here. So I'm actually going to bulldoze this for obvious reasons. And
Doesn't look like there's any reason for me to go out here. I'm actually not sure if times five does biz. I don't think it actually does anything with this game. I I don't think speed hacks affects this at all. Because the characters still move at the same speed and build at the same speed. The only thing that changes is the animations are ridiculous. Maybe it's a bit faster. I, I'm having a hard time telling. Well, oh well. Make some weird sound effects. Da, 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 da. <laughs> My actions per minute have gone up considerably since. So what's the victory condition? Resist all swarms of the infected. So... I mean, straight up... Oh. I guess that does not provide any more power in that general direction. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see. I'm going to bulldoze some of that, so I'm going to turn this off. So, cheat engine's not going to do me any good. Hmm. Well. I... I guess my next course of action is to start drawing weird, funny faces. Uh. What does that even mean? Defy north, please. Because there's a lot of north. In fact, that's pretty much the only direction available here. Also, it amuses me to no end. Okay, so my tent megatown is probably a bit of a... Was maybe kind of a bit of a mistake. I'm not sure. Yeah, are they going to come through here, or are they going to come through here? Probably not through Train Town, but we'll see. I mean, luckily I've got Group 2 here. I mean, I've, I've got 30 or so Rangers. I'm not too terribly worried here. But yeah, I, I've always wished that they would say North, Northwest, North... North, Northwest, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, there we go. They are trying to break through. Oh no. Look at this wave. Look at this danger wave. What are they gonna do to me? Not much. Hopefully I can change the difficulty from a mission to mission basis. But if I can't, then we're just stuck with it. Well, hooray, we beat it. 25 points.
Okay. Looks like it can change the difficulty. Freely. Okay. So we have, what is this? I don't know. This is with the research menu. Okay, from the research lab, you can spend research points obtained to acquire technological improvements for your colonies. Move through the tree of improvements. You can drag the mouse. Okay, acquire. Uh, click on it. You can undo acquisitions of improvements made during the session by clicking on them again. Oh, I see. So, mercenaries. So we get an extra of ranger. Uh, let's see, we can get wooden towers. We can get command center, uh, center for extra storage. Uh, let's see, extra food from fishermen cottages, or we can get the assault rifle. The extra gold income might be nice, better than the high rises. The only real question would be, which is better, logistics or assault rifles? Uh, let's go assault rifles. And hero panel. Oh! When you have level points available, you can improve the features of your... Okay. So we can get extra perks. Looks like they're all just combat-related stuff. I wonder if there's a way to increase... Well, loading speed will be nice. But range. Nope, doesn't look like... Wait. Nope, that's... Yes, attack range. Okay. So I've turned it up to uh, accessible, at least. And let's do Hunter's Meadow. Maybe? Maybe? 